today we're going to talk about hand traps and just the bricking syndrome that they're kind of bringing to the metagame right now. Alright, so hand traps in general, I don't really have a problem with the concept of having hand traps. Um, there are some problems with a lot of the mechanics here. Where I, but the thing is, we're entering into an era in which hand traps are starting to be built basically like this in every deck. And this, this is what I have a problem with. It's not the fact that hand traps exist. I think they're kind of very necessary in today's meta. But it's the fact that people are so scared of getting uh, their opponent getting turn one boards or their um or being otk that literally they're almost literally playing like this kind of setup um at least up to like here they have like three 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 and that's a little bit ridiculous and one that's really bad for the game in general and there are several reasons for this all right first reason i'm gonna mention is that when you play this many hand traps that are meant to negate one that makes for it makes for a literally degenerative game state. And I'm not talking about degeneracy like, oh, this card is just really, really overpowered or this co combo is just really ridiculous. I'm talking about degenerate in the fact where you are you literally have a hand that's not meant to build anything of your own. It's only meant to disrupt. When you have a meta game that's only meant to disrupt, that's kind of unhealthy and it's just... Instead of building something up, you, like it's like the primary goal of your entire hand is just to annoy your opponent, opponent and not do anything for yourself. And that's what the problem is. People are opening hands that are 100% hand traps, and they're not getting of their, any of their combo pieces. And then it ends up being turn three or four bet before either player is able to do anything. And that's just kind of a waste of time. And so that's one reason why. And two... Uh, and I kind of mentioned this in one, uh, this is ending up with, this is giving so many people just brick hands to start. And I know this ties into the first point, but like, say if you're playing Salamangrates and you open up with all hand traps, like that's also, that also makes for really, really boring gameplay. All right, so that's, and the thing is where, the question becomes, where do we go from here? Um, well, I've said before that uh, any state in Yu-Gi-Oh can't be any state in Yu-Gi-Oh can be fixed by good ban lists. And some people have a problem with say like, oh, you can't ban everything. You can ban a lot of things. There was at one point there wasn't even there a ban list didn't even exist. And then when it first came out, there was like literally one card on it, I believe. And now it's grown to be like. I th over 100, I believe. But either way, it's much, much bigger than it was before. And there's not really a problem with making it bigger. Now, I'm not talking about banning... We could ban specific hand traps, I believe. But some of them... Impermanence is too high of a price for Konami to touch it. No, uh, that's just not going anywhere. Uh, Lockbird... Lockbird's... The thing is, like, a lot of other things are so degenerate. Like, the these are necessary. And that's kind of the problem. It's like if you hand traps are kind of a symptom of the problem as well. If like say we get rid of like uh, the degeneracy that is the guard dragon combos right now that just summon everything and get a ridiculous board turn one. Well, that kind of reduces the need to even have Droll and Lockbird. And the thing is, well, the there's another degenerate combo. Like, there's the reincarnation Droll combo. Uh, I think Dr Droll and Lock actually needs Errated specifically for that. Like, he, uh, it needs Errated to say this can't be activated in a chain. I think that'd actually be really good. But that's just aside from the point. Uh so if we address the main metagame problems, hand traps might not be as much of a problem. Then we can focus on uh, perhaps it, see if the the traps are still a problem. And it's kind of tough to attack one at a time because effect veiler, effect veiler is just good. It's not broken. Um, I think an argument can be made that Ash is kind of broken in some situations, uh, but just because it's it covers anything that you that your opponent basically wants to do with their deck um ghost ogre can be problematic sometimes uh dd crow is just is just generally good um but yeah most of the time you'll see like these first four hand traps uh where you'll see most often all right so yeah that's just kind of where we're at we're at a really 
Uh, the, this format is much better than past formats. I'm not gonna gonna argue that it isn't. I'm just saying this is a this is probably a problem that will need to be should probably be addressed at one point or another because uh, Konami is probably gonna come out with more hand traps and it's if we have decks that are full of hand traps, it just makes for kind of a degenerate state, in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know uh, what your ideas about how to solve this problem are, um, because I, I don't think this problem is going to shrink. I think it'll actually get bigger. And what do you think about the potentially limiting hand traps? I think that'd be a reasonable answer. Like, if we limited... If we, like, semi-limited Ash and then semi-limited a couple others, that might actually help. But I don't know if Konami will actually do that. All right. <laughs> That's all I got, guys. Peace.